Hello there, I'm Jonathan and this is BrainStuff. So if you're standing next to a jet during takeoff, your eardrums will probably burst. Same thing happens when you fire a 12 gauge shotgun right next to your ear. Well, when we're exposed to exceptionally loud noises, something called the stereocilia in our ears gets damaged. This causes our ears to mistakenly send signals to our auditory nerve cells. The resulting ghostly reverberations are what we call ringing ear. Many of you have probably experienced this, possibly from going to a really loud concert. The technical term for it is tinnitus, and it's usually temporary unless you repeatedly damage your ears with loud noises. Then it develops into chronic tinnitus where you hear that dull ringing for the rest of your life. But that's nothing compared to what really loud noise can do to you. Noise hates you, and noise can kill you. See, sound travels in waves that enter our ear canals. Now these waves make our eardrums vibrate and if they're too strong, they can snap the hair cells inside. To avoid this, we use units called decibels to measure the power of sound. Anything below 85 decibels is thought to be safe. But at 150 decibels, your eardrums burst like with the jet or shotgun. And at 200 decibels, your lungs will rupture and likely kill you. That's right, the threshold for death by sound is somewhere between 185 and 200 decibels. That is if your lungs don't burst first from the increased air pressure caused by acoustic energy. This has happened during wars when high energy impulse noise from explosions causes something called blast overpressure. It leaves no external injuries, but damages organs like your ears, your lungs, and your gastrointestinal tract. Now, acoustic weapons are actually being developed, but usually they're for non-lethal purposes. There is one device, however, that could most definitely kill you with sound. It's not a weapon, but the European Space Agency has developed a huge air horn they use to test satellites and spacecraft. Using nitrogen gas to produce sounds up to 154 decibels, they blast objects to make sure they can withstand the noise of a rocket launching. The ESA themselves are so concerned about how lethal this horn is, they have surrounded it with a half meter thick wall made of steel reinforced concrete coated with an epoxy resin to reflect noise back into its chamber. But Jonathan, you're asking, didn't you just say that the threshold for death is between 185 and 200 decibels? The ESA believe that prolonged exposure to the 154 decibel horn will kill you as well, probably rupturing your eardrums, vibrating your eyeballs, and destroying you from the inside out. Well, on that cheery note, why don't you tell us in the comments about the loudest noise you've ever been exposed to? And please, do me a solid and subscribe to our channel. The more subscriptions we get and the more likes we get, the happier our bosses are. And the happier our bosses are, the less likely they're gonna be pumping erasure at 154 decibels into the whole office. Try to discover a little something to make me sweeter.